Welcome to week seven of the Sunshine Alcal. Um, first of all, let me just apologize for my slightly croaky voice. I do have a cold. Last week we worked the final rounds of the pattern, which was rows 57 to 61. And your total stitch count is now 200 half double crochets per side. And this includes your two in each corner. Uh, this week we'll finish off our blanket by adding in the border. All that remains in this cowl is adding our, our centerpiece, which we'll complete over the remaining two weeks. What an incredible journey it has been to date. Over 4,000 people following the Sunshine Owl Cowl on Facebook. Thank you to Vanessa for her brilliant pattern and for bringing us all together in this spectacular fashion. I can't believe we're almost at the end. Moving on to the first round of uh, the border, <coughs> it is pretty straightforward. We're going to join with a single crochet in any of our corner chain spaces. As usual, I'm using a standing single crochet, two chains, and another single crochet. Now we're going to do back post single crochets into the next 200 stitches to our next corner. A lot of you don't enjoy doing back post single crochets, but they do give us a lovely um, edge and some wonderful overlay texture to our blankets. So working around the first uh, of our post from the previous row, this one's always a little bit tricky, the first one. Pull up a loop and pull through two. Go through your next loop, pull up and through two. Continue in this manner until you reach the next corner and then repeat this three times. In other words, do your single crochet, two chain, single crochet, two back post, single crochets until you're back at your starting point over here. Join with your preferred joining method. Fasten off and I will see you for... Uh, border round two. We're now going to start our border round two and this is the same as the previous round. So going to any of your corner two chain spaces, start by making a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet. Now we're going to do a back post single crochet around the first stitch again just a little bit tricky that first one it's got a bit of split there and through and around the next one and pull it through this is a little bit tricky until you get into the rhythm of it um, so we're going to continue doing this and we will repeat each of the um, sides until we get to the end here. Continue doing your front, your back post single crochet all the way to the next corner. And then again, one single crochet, two chain, one single crochet. When you get to, to the end of the round, please join and um, fasten off. And get ready for round right, two. I've now completed border round two and I have joined and I'm ready to start border round three. Please check that your stitch count for the last round is 204 stitches and that will include your one stitch on each corner. The next three rounds will all be worked in the same color. Um, obviously not um, mandatory, but according to Vanessa's pattern, that's the way she's done it, and I'm going to follow that. So we're going to start again with a single crochet, two chain, and a single crochet in any of your corner from the previous round. Then into the first single crochet back post single crochet of the previous round we're going to do a back post single crochet we're going to do 204 of these back post single crochets 
will then land up with a stitch count on each side of 206. The 206 will include the one in each corner. When you get to the next corner, continue in the same way. Um, one single crochet, two chain, one single crochet, 204 back post single crochets and do this until you're all the way back at your starting point. Don't fasten off, join with a slip stitch and I will catch up with you then. Now I've finished uh, the border round three and um, I have joined with a slip stitch into my first stitch of this row. I'm now going to slip stitch into the corner and then I'm going to do two chains which are going to form my first double crochet. Another double crochet into the same corner space, two chains and further two double crochets into that corner. Okay, now we're going to start with these stitches all the way along this edge. We need to end up with 68 V stitches in total. So we're going to skip the first two stitches. Remember to count the hidden stitch one, two, and into the third stitch we're going to do a V. The V stitch is simply a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. You've done this before in this particular cowl, so it's not a new stitch. Skip two into the third stitch, one double crochet one chain, one double crochet. Continue until you get to just before the next corner and I've awesome. now done my 68 um, v-stitches along the first side of this round and now you should have two stitches left and then we're going to work Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet into the corner space. Now again, skipping the first stitch, uh, first two stitches, bearing in mind that you're going to skip your hidden stitch one, two, and continue with your v-stitch, skip two and v-stitch. Again you're going to do 68 and when you get to the next corner you should have two stitches left and then do your corner, two double crochets, two chain, two double crochets and continue until the round is completed. Join with a slip stitch but don't fasten off. And now at the end them. of border round five, uh, four, I beg your pardon, and I have joined with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I'm now going to slip stitch to the first corner. Into this corner we are going to make a set of five double crochets, a picot and five double crochets. Our first double crochet is going to be two chains and then two three, four, five. I have gone down half a hook size um, on this row because it is a very dense row. There's a lot of stitches and I just feel that it's going to help to keep the work from um, becoming a bit wavy. I'm then going to do my pico. This consists of three chains. One, two, three. Then working back into those two stitches there, pull through, see how I'm holding it just to keep it nice and firm, and pick I made. And then another five double crochets into this corner, two, three, and five. Just have a look at that. So into our corner we have done two, four, five double crochets, a nice little picker, 
and five double crochets. Your corner sets of picots again, a picot sets are going to be slightly different to the ones on the side. So just bear that in mind. In the corners, you're going to have five picot and then five double crochets. We're now going to work into the space between the two double crochets in the corner of the previous row. So straight after that last double crochet of this row, miss that one and into the space do a single crochet. Now into the one chain space from the next V stitch, we're going to work four double crochets, a picot and four double crochets. So let's do that. So one, two, three, and four. Four double crochets. Got that? Picot. One, two, three. When you're working your picot, come back and slip through the two stitches there. And then pull through a slip stitch through all of those stitches. It can be a little bit tricky, but once you get used to it, it's, it's reasonably easy. And then another four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then between each of these picot sets, we're going to anchor it into the one chain space that's between the, in the next V of the previous row. So you'll have a picot, a single crochet, picot, single crochet all the way along. So let's work all the way to the other corner. You should have 34 of these Pico and one single crochet sets. I'll see you at the next corner. Now done the 34 um, Pico clusters and I have finished off with a single crochet in that last V stitch on this side. Now remember what I said is that the corner Pico is slightly different in that it has five double crochets on either side of the picot. So let's do that. That's two, four and five. Three chain to create our picot. Work back into the top of those two stitches there and pull through the slip stitch. Five more double crochets to that corner. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the first side that we did, we had to do a slight stitch correction by working our first double crochet between the first and second double crochets of the previous corner, previous rose corner. So like that. This is just so that it works out properly along the edge leading up to the next corner. Okay, now we're going to work the next picot cluster into there. One, two, three, four. Four only because it's not a corner. One, two, three chains to form the picot. And then slip it into those two little stitches there to anchor it nice and firmly. Oops, so have. And pull it through two. And again, we're going to do another four double crochets back into that same one chain space from that V stitch in the previous row. Just count. I've got four. And then a single crochet into the next V stitch like that. And so don't don't forget when you get to the next corner that you've got this little stitch anomaly there where you've got to work between those two stitches 
before you start off with your Pico cluster one single crochet and then it should work out perfectly to the next corner when you get to the end of this round please join using your preferred method and fasten off and then sew away all the ends that might still need sewing away and that is the end of the border of the sunshine owl cow the next two weeks will be focused on creating the owl which goes in the center of the blanket i suggest at this point that you block your work i will do a separate video showing um, how i'm going to block my work just for those of you who are not familiar with the blocking concept i will see you soon